So this is the first in a series of videos I'm going to make on the transistor. I've done some videos in the past on transistors. Uh, I'm not really breaking new ground or anything. But hopefully, if I make this in a series form, it's a little easier to follow. So to begin with, we're going to be using transistors that look like this. This is called the TO92 package. That's just what it looks like. So I can't tell if you can really see, but there's a flat edge on one side. This has writing on it, the flat edge. And then the rest of the transistor is rounded. So now the transistor has three leads that you have to deal with. So you have to understand what they're doing. Whereas most of the basic components only have two leads. And for the most part, you just have to understand uh, the current flowing through them. It's pretty straightforward where it gets a little more complicated with the transistor. So all of these 2N type transistors, I can't think of any that uh, are different than this, but uh, all 2N type transistors that I know of, the when you're looking at the flat edge, the left pin is called the emitter. The middle pin is called the base, and then the right pin is called the collector. That's if you're looking at the flat side. So now, these are bipolar junction transistors. All three of these transistors are made of uh, two types of semiconductive material. That's why it's called bipolar. Just like the LED. It has an N-type and a P-type. But the LED has uh, N-type on one side and P-type on the other. The transistors have uh, three instead of two. So this one has... NPN. This one also has NPN type materials, whereas this one has PNP type materials. So even though they're basically the same component, you actually wire these two transistors in the opposite way of this transistor, depending on what you want the transistor to do. Now, as I said before, a lot of components are made with the TO92 packaging. They look like this. So you gotta look at the flat edge and read the writing on there to see what components you're dealing with. So this is a 2N2222A. Now we just really worry about the 2N2222 part for now. That's the part number. And uh, as I said before, these three transistors are all 2N transistors. So again, 2N3904 which is an NPN transistor, just like the 2N2222. And then we have the 2N3906 transistor, which is a PNP type transistor. So now we're going to talk about wiring the transistors. So the NPN type transistors, like this 2N2222 transistor, on the collector side of the transistor is the positive side of the power source this is more positive than the emitter side. Ultimately this is where the current's going to flow. But as you can see I got the battery plugged in to the board and the LED is not lit. Right now the transistor is actually turned off and that's the first property of the transistor to understand is that it acts as a switch. Uh, partly as a switch, partly as an amplifier. We'll get into the amplifier part uh, later on. But uh, as you can see here, the switch is off. Right now the circuit's open. The transistor's not conducting. But the main thing to take away is that the emitter side of the NPN transistor towards the more negative side of the circuit, whereas the collector is towards the more positive side of the circuit for the NPN transistor. The PNP transistor, on the other hand, has the more positive side of the circuit to the emitter and the more negative side of the circuit towards the collector. So now I also turn the LED around because now negative is above positive so I need the cathode, the shorter lead on this side and the anode, the longer lead towards the more positive side. So as you can see uh, this is still the same circuit except for instead of an NPN transistor we're wiring it to a PNP transistor so the polarities switch 
So now we come back to the NPN transistor. So it's not doing anything. It's off. I put the, the battery back in the rail. I took it out for the PNP transistor, but uh, it went to lit anyways. It's just like this one. And you see that uh, the LED is off. And I have the LED to set to conduct. So what we're going to do is the middle pin of the transistor, we're going to take a high value resistor. This is a 10 kilo ohm resistor. And connect it from the middle pin, the base, to the positive rail now. So now you see the LED lit up. There's a current path through the transistor. We got positive here. It goes through the transistor to the emitter from the collector. Collector to emitter to ground. And the reason why we have current flow now is because we also have current flow from the negative rail to the base. The middle pin of the transistor to ground. So we have two current paths now. Uh, they both meet though at the emitter. And that's one thing to know about transistors. The two current paths meet at the emitter, but there are two current paths. We have a small current path to the base, and that allows a larger current path from the collector to the emitter. So that brings us back to the PNP transistor. In this case, the 2N3906. But it doesn't matter, it's a PNP, so it's going to be wired the way that we're wiring it now. Uh, now we have positive coming to the emitter and then negative goes to the collector so current's going to flow through the transistor that way but as you can see it's uh, powered right now the 9 volt battery is in the rail but it's not on so again we're going to take a high value resistor in this case a 10 kilo ohm resistor and we're going to put it to the negative rail to ground now you see the transistor turns on. Uh, when the base is uh, connected to ground now, now we have a small current that comes from here to the base and then to ground. Remember, current's flowing the opposite direction now. And that allows current to flow from the positive rail to the emitter, to the collector, and through the components here. Again, I had to turn the LED the opposite direction of the NPN transistor because uh, we got reverse polarities. Having the base at a lower voltage, the ground, the negative terminal, from the emitter, that allows conduction. If I shift the resistor over to positive, which is perfectly safe, that just keeps it off. We need an opposite polarity from the emitter, actually a, a lower voltage I should say, than the emitter. And of course the same is true with the NPN transistor except the polarities are reversed. We have positive connected to the base which is a higher voltage than the negative rail which turns the transistor on. It allows the collector to emitter path to conduct but uh, we can just simply remove the resistor but we can also connect it to the negative rail which makes it even more likely to stay off. And uh, this is just a quick introduction to the transistor with uh, this basic circuit. There's other ways to wire uh, similar circuits. We'll get into that in other videos. But hopefully this made it clear what the transistor actually does. I also have diagrams and stuff elsewhere. You can look at those. But I think this covered it pretty well. But the more you build circuits with transistors, the better you'll understand them. That's really the best way uh, to understand them is to build them and figure out the current paths. But remember, transistors have two current paths, one from the base to the emitter, and then the other one from the collector to the emitter. And the emitter shares both of those paths, so ultimately they end up at the emitter. And when you look at the transistor schematic, you'll see an arrow that's pointing the direction that the current flows when it's conducting.